And these are the completed. Just want to give you a close up look of the completed sets. This is the refrigerator magnet. Has a heavy duty magnet on the back. And here are your pot holders. Show two different styles for the top. And the bottom skirts are the same pattern, except I alternated the colors so you can see what that looks like. And then you have your other style, similar to, to this one. Let me put them together. So these two, this pot holder and this dress towel topper, both have the same upper style. And then for this one, this upper style is the same for this towel topper. For this project, you're going to need your H crochet hook or 5 millimeter crochet hook. And if you're going to be making the little dress, you're going to use the baby shower dress pattern. And for that one, I used my um, G crochet hook or 4 millimeter crochet hook. But for this project, you're going to be using your H or 5 millimeter crochet hook. And that's for your towel topper, dress towel topper. And then here is your other dress towel topper. And also the little hot pads with the two different styles. You have the one style on the top part and then this other style for the top part. And then the bottom is going to be the same for both. I just alternated the colors, one with yellow and then one with white. If you're going to be using the magnetic strip, for your little dress. I'm using these magnetic snaps from Dritz to put on the back of the dress. And I'm just using the magnetic portion of the magnet and here's the back washer. And I'm just going to turn the dress over and just place the magnet where I want it. Right in the center above the ribbon. And then you just take the inside and place the washer down and then fold the sides down on the inside. These are by Dritz magnetic snaps. They're bigger so I had trouble folding the tabs down on the inside. They're too big to just use my thumbs so I used pliers and that worked well for getting those snaps down. And then for the beautiful little flower and I use that on the towel topper as well. They come in a pack and this is a six piece set by Ofray. You can use any kitchen towel that you want for this project. I'm using a flower sack towel for mine. The yarn that I used was by Lily Sugar and Cream 100% cotton and I used yellow and white. For the ribbon I used Dark Sage and this is by Karen Simply Soft, an acrylic yarn. And for the towel you could also use a ribbon um, if you want instead. I used Ofre. It's just a yellow ribbon and it's a 3 8 inch. For the ring at the top of the towel I used these curtain grommets by Dritz Home. And you get a lot of them in a pack and they work great. And depending on what button you use for the top strap, you may need sewing needle and thread to sew it on. And of course you need your pair of scissors and I used the tapestry needle or I think these are more called darning needles because that's a pointier end. You want something with a little bit of sharper end to use to get through the towel. We're going to start with the um, color that you want for the top part of the dress and I'm going to be using the white color and the first thing you're going to do is just do a slip knot. So you're going to take your yarn and just fold it over on itself to form a loop and then I'm using my H or 5 millimeter crochet hook and just go right into that loop 
You're going to hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to make a chain of 20. So I'm only going to show you a few of them. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, go through the loop for one chain, two, you can see how I'm moving my thumb and middle finger up on the chain as I work. Three, four. So go ahead, finish doing a chain of 20, and then come back. After completing your chain of 20, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first chain that you did. So go ahead and take that first chain, and you're going to take your crochet hook and go right through that first chain. And then you're going to take your yarn, and you can hold your work like this. And then just take your yarn, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a slip knot. And then you just made a circle. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that's going to count as your first double crochet. Now we're going to do a total of 40 double cro crochet into this circle. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go, and then holding the circle like this sometimes helps. Go into the circle, bring up a loop, then you can take and hold your work like this. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two. Then yarn over and go through two. And three. And what's nice is you can scoot the double crochets over. It's a little bit easier with certain yarns. Cotton's a little bit rougher texture, but it still works nicely. And I'm just going to do one more with you. Just yarn over, go into the circle, bring up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So go ahead and finish doing 40 double crochet into the ring, and then come back. After completing 40 double crochet into the ring, we're going to do a slip stitch. You're going to take your crochet hook and go into that top stitch of the first chain three that you created. And you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. After making sure you have 40 double crochet into the ring, you're going to do the next row, and you're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to do one double crochet, and then two double crochet around the ring. So this one will count as one double crochet. So in the second stitch, I'm going to do two double crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, you can do one double crochet. And then in the second stitch, you can do two double crochet. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. And then come back. Now we're going to do a slip stitch and get ready for the next row. So go ahead and take your crochet hook. Go into that top stitch of the first double crochet. Then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And we're going to move up to the next row. So you're going to go ahead. Um, oh yeah, on that row I completed 60 double crochet. So now you're going to do a chain three. One, 
two, three, and now we're going to do one double crochet in two stitches and then do two double crochet in the third stitch. So this will count as my first double crochet. So in my second stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And then in the third stitch, I'm going to do two double crochet in the same stitch. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So I'm going to do one more set with you. Do one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the second stitch. And then two double crochet into the third stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way back to the beginning. And then you can go ahead and do a slip stitch. After you've completed your slip stitch, you're going to go ahead and finish off. So you just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now I'm going to show you how to place the yarn markers. And you can use real yarn markers or you can just use your scraps of yarn, which is what I've done. Now what you're going to do is find your right side and the wrong side. So this is going to be my right side. So I'm going to put the right side showing facing me and then the wrong side will be on the inside. And then also where you finished off, that's going to be towards the back, the back half. So go ahead and line everything up and what you're going to do is have the back face you and you're going to count over so this will count as your first stitch so that'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so then you're going to put your marker on the next stitch over so that'll be one marker on that next stitch. So you have 11 stitches here. Then you're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then place your marker on the next stitch over. So using your back as the midpoint on the back of the dress, you want to make sure that you have 22 stitches along the back. So here you have your marker on the one stitch. You're not going to count that stitch. You're going to count the next stitch over. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Then you have your marker on the next stitch. You're going to count that as 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So each armhole is going to have 18 total stitches. So you're going to mark those, both of those. So both armholes should be marked with your yarn markers. And then the back of the dress should have 22 stitches and the front of the dress should have 22 stitches. Now we're going to make the shells on the armhole. So you're going to get the color that you want for your shells and you're going to go with the right side facing you. You're going to take your crochet hook and go through the first stitch with the marker and you can go ahead and remove that one marker to get it out of the way. And then you're going to take your yarn and bring it through and just do a chain one. Turn your work over and just tie a knot.
Then you're going to go into the next stitch over. So you're going to go into that next stitch over and you're going to do a single crochet. So you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Now we're going to do two treble crochets in the same stitch. So you're going to yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So we're going to do one more treble in the same stitch. And now you're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch. Then you're going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch over. And you've completed one shell. So now in the next stitch over, you're going to do a single crochet. And you're going to repeat the process. So I'm going to do one more shell with you. So now I'm going to do a half double crochet, then a double crochet, now I'm going to do two treble crochets, then a double crochet, half double crochet, and I completed another shell. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch over and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to do my shell. So go ahead and complete another shell and then come back. And then I'll show you how to move to the other side of the armhole. So here you can see I've completed three shells so far. Now you can see your other yarn marker and from your other yarn marker, I'm just going to show you, you want to make sure you can fit your three shells on the other side as well. So here, you know that you're going to have a shell here. So you have a single a slip, slip stitch here. Your shell will go here. And then your single crochet will go here. So that's one shell. And then here will go another shell. And then here we'll go another shell and then you have your single crochet. So to get to this point, you're going to have to do one, two, three, four, five single crochet and then do your shell into the next stitch. So I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, 
four, and then I'm just going to double check where my shells are going to be going. So I'm going to do another single crochet into the next stitch, and then I'm going to start my shell into the next stitch. So I'm going to do one shell with you on this side. So then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And you can see how I finished my shell. So then I'm going to do a, a single crochet into the next stitch. And in this stitch I'm going to be doing my shell. So you can see how this is going to finish. Single crochet here, then your shell, and then we'll slip stitch to end. So go ahead and finish two more shells and then come back and I'll show you how to slip stitch and what the armhole looks like. So this is what my work looks like so far and I just finished my half double crochet on my last shell so now I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the stitch that has my yarn marker so I'm going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on my hook for a slip stitch then I'm going to finish off just yarn over and pull enough yarn to bury into your work. And then you can remove that yarn marker on that side. And you can see how the shells will look when it's folded together. So this is the back of the dress because of the seam. So this will be the front of the dress. You can see how pretty that's looking. So now you're going to do the exact same thing that you did on this side, on the other side, and then come back. Okay, so now you should have finished all of your shells on the other armhole. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my slip stitch. And then I'm going to finish off. and I can get rid of my yarn marker now and you can see how the dress looks you go ahead and fold down line up the shells on each side bury our loose yarn ends later and you can see how nice the armholes look. They should line up on both sides and this is what it looks like on the back. And then make sure you have the right side together that you want showing on the outside of the dress. And now I'm going to show you how to do the skirt of the dress. Okay, so now with the right side facing you and your loose yarn end from the back of the dress pointing away from you, you want to pick up and work at the shell and you're going to go into the space right before the first double crochet in the back of the dress and then you're going to take the color of your skirt whatever yarn you're using for the color of the skirt and then you're going to hook it and bring it up and then you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to turn your work over and take and tie a knot
then you're going to take and do a chain three one two three and now we're going to join the armhole on this side so you're going to take and fold together the two armholes I mean the one armhole so that the sides are together and then you're going to take you can see how the two shells are together you're going to go do a double crochet into the space right after the shell and right before your, your stitch on the front of the dress so go ahead and yarn over go into that space right after the shell and right before the stitch on the front of the dress bring up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two so now you formed a V connecting the back and the front of the dress and forming the armhole so now we're going to work across the front of the dress so I have the wrong side facing me and now I'm going to skip two stitches and do two double crochet into that space between the second and third double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, skip two stitches, go into that space, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. And you're going to do one more double crochet in that space. So your work looks like this. Now you're going to do a double crochet, you're going to skip two more spaces and then do a double crochet, just a single double crochet this time. Now you're going to skip two more spaces and then do two double crochet into that space. So, so far we've skipped two, four, six. We're going to skip two more and do one double crochet into that space. And now we're going to skip three spaces. So, you're going to skip three stitches and then you're going to do two double crochet between the third and fourth stitch on the previous row. So there's one and there's two. So this is what your work looks like so far. So I skipped two, four, six, eight, and then I skipped three. Now I'm going to skip three more. Skip three more stitches, but this time I'm going to do one double crochet. So skip three stitches, do one double crochet in that space and now I'm going to skip two stitches and then do two double crochet into the space so one and two Then I'm going to skip two more stitches and do one double crochet. And then I'm going to skip two more stitches and do two double crochet. Then you're going to do a double, you're going to skip two more stitches, one, two, and then do a double crochet into the space right before your first shell. So yarn over, go into that space, bring up a loop, and do a double crochet 
And now you've completed the front of the dress. Now we're going to connect the next armhole. So now the same thing that you did on the other side, you're going to take and fold the armhole together. You can put all your loose yarn ends in the center if you want. So you fold the armhole together and we're going to connect the armhole just like we did on the other side. So now right after that last shell and right before the first stitch on the back of the dress, you're going to do a double crochet into that space. And then you would have formed a V connecting the back and the front of the dress. And this is what it looks like with the armhole. So you can see how you formed a V with the double crochet. And now we're going to do the exact same pattern along the back of the dress. So now you're going to skip two stitches and do two double crochet into that space. Then you're going to skip two more stitches and do one. So, so far I have two, four. So two more, make six, and then do two double crochet. Skip two more and do one double crochet. And now you're going to skip three stitches. So you had you connected the two armholes, you'd skipped two, four, six, eight. Now you're going to skip three and do two double crochet into that space. Then you're going to skip three more three more stitches and then do one double crochet into that space. So this is how your work looks so far. Now I'm going to skip two stitches and do two double crochet. And then I'm going to skip two stitches and do one double crochet. And then two stitches, do two double crochet. And now we're going to go ahead and connect the first double crochet that we did joining the armhole. So let me just show you here. You have your double crochet joining the front and the back and making the armhole. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top stitch of that double crochet I can grab it. Yeah. So go ahead and go into that top stitch of that double crochet. You're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And now you have joined the body of the skirt into a loop. And what you want to do is take, after you did your slip stitch, you're going to find the V of the armhole. You're going to take your crochet hook and go into that V. You're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And now you're going to chain two. 
one, two. And that's going to count as your double crochet for the next round. Now for this round, you can take your work and face it so that you have this row facing you so you can work this way but if you want to keep working that way that's fine too but I'm going to start working this way so I have my double crochet for the next row right into the space of the armhole now I'm going to be working into this first space here. So I'm going to go right into that space. Form, it forms like a V with the two double crochet that you did on that previous row. So you're going to take your crochet hook, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into that space with your crochet hook, bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two. So now you're going to do two double crochet into that space. So you did one, you do one more. So now you have two double crochet in that space. You're going to do a chain one. And now you're going to do two more double crochet into the same space. and that's what your shell will look like all the way around so that's one shell completed now on the previous rows one double crochet you're going to do one double crochet into that stitch so you're going to go into that stitch of the previous rows double crochet and just do one double crochet And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So I'm going to do one more with you. So now I have the next two double crochet of the previous row. And I'm going to do my shell in there. So I'm going to do two double crochet. Do a chain one. And now I'm going to do two more double crochet into the same space. And now I'm going to do a double crochet into the previous rows, single double crochet. And then I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So go ahead and finish this all the way around back to the beginning and then I'll help you move up to the next row. I'm still on the same row but I just wanted to show you real quick when you get to the armhole, the V of the armhole, you want to do one double crochet into that V or one double yeah one double crochet into that V and then you'll start the same pattern again going into the space between the two double crochet on the previous row and just doing your shell of two double crochet chain one two double crochet and then in the previous rows single double crochet just doing it <coughs> excuse me doing a double crochet above that so this is what it looks like and here is the armhole and you just have one double crochet into the armhole with a shell on either side of the armhole now I just finished my last shell and I'm back to the beginning so you're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of that beginning double crochet 
And then you're going to go ahead and do a chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to be ready to start your new row. But before we do that, I just want to show you what it's looking like so far. And let me see, here's the front. So here's the front. I'm just going to line up. And you can see how it's making a beautiful pattern at the bottom of the dress. And the same thing with the back. So now, for this next round, you just finished doing the double crochet above the armhole. That's just going to be a single strand of rows of one double crochet all the way down. And now, you're going to be working into the chain one space of the previous rose shell. So you're going to be working right into that space. So you just take your crochet hook, you're going to yarn over, go into that chain one space, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two for a double crochet. And now we're going to repeat the same pattern that we did on the previous row. So I'm going to do two double crochet into the chain one space, Then I'm going to chain one and two more double crochet into the same space. And that completes your shell the same as the previous row. Then you're going to do a double crochet, one double crochet in the previous rows, single double crochet. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Now after you do your slip stitch to finish that row, you're going to go ahead and do your chain three. One, two, three. Now this shell that we're going to be doing into the chain one space of the previous rows shell is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to yarn over, go into that chain one space, and do your double crochet, but this time you're going to do three double crochet into that chain one space. And then you're going to do your chain one, and then you're going to do three more double crochet into that same chain one space. And then that's what your shell is going to look like for this row. And then same thing in the previous rows, single double crochet. You're going to do one double crochet into that space, that stitch, so that your work looks like this. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. Okay, so I went ahead and um, did my slip stitch to where I started. Now for the towel, the kitchen towel dress topper, you would finish off here. But the pot holder would work the same way. Everything is the same up to this point. And then I will come back at this point to show you how to continue on to finish the pot holder. But for the towel topper, you're going to go ahead and finish off here. So I'll show you how to do that. So now, after you did your slip stitch, you're going to finish off, so you're just going to yarn over and then pull enough yarn just to bury into your work. Now, I'm going to show you how to bury all your loose yarn ends, so you're going to take and turn your work inside out. And then you're just going to take your tapestry needle 
and you're just going to put it on each loose yarn end and this is going to be the inside of the dress so you don't have to get it perfect but you don't want them sticking out everywhere either so just take your loose yarn ends and just kind of weave them through the wrong side of the dress and then you could leave a little bit of an end on it a little bit of a loose yarn end on it if you want because it's going to be on the inside of the dress no one's going to see it so go ahead and finish burying all of your loose yarn ends on the inside of the dress and then come back and I'll show you how to attach this to your top. So this is how my work looks so far after burying all of my loose yarn ends. Before we put it onto the towel though, I'm just going to show you how to do the, um, the bow. So go ahead and get the color that you want for your bow. And we're going to do a slip knot first. So you're just going to fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. And I'm still using my H or 5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to hold at the base of the loop with my middle finger and thumb. And I'm going to yarn over and bring the yarn through that loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to make a chain of 80. So I'm just going to show you a couple of them. So you just yarn over, pull it through the loop for one, two, three, four. So you're going to make a chain, but your chain is going to be a chain of 80 and then come back. Now once you've made your chain of 80, you can um, yarn over and we're going to finish off and bring enough yarn through so you can sew the bow to the dress. Now you're going to take your chain and I like to tie my bow onto the side so I'm going to start here and go in to the center of the dress and then come back up and I'm going right along the area where I have the color change and then I'm going to skip three double crochet and then go back in that way I have more showing on the outside and then come back I'm going to skip only one and come back up to the front and then skip three again and then I'm going to come up right before the armhole and then I'm going to bring the chain across the armhole to the back and then I'm going to go down and then back up and you're just going to keep doing that all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. Now when you get back to the beginning make sure that your two chains are pretty in, equal in size and then you can tie your bow. Go ahead and shape your bow the way you want it on your dress and then you're going to take your tapestry needle and put it on the short end yarn end first and then you're going to go into that stitch on the end of the chain and then go into the one side of the dress only and then just sew it in place and then you're just going to come back up along that chain and then just leave the loose yarn end on the inside And then you're going to take the long end that you left for sewing and you're going to finish sewing the bow in place. So finish sewing your bow in place and then come back. And this is what my bow looks like. And you can do a white bow too if you want it to show up even uh, more or you can use a ribbon which I'm going to show you on a different one and then also what's optional is you can add one of these pretty flowers for the top which is what I'm going to do by Ofray 
and this is what it would look like on here. And I'm just going to use a regular sewing needle and thread to sew that on. Make sure you have your flower centered where you like it. And then just take your sewing needle and some white thread or yellow thread. And then usually what I do is I come up from the inside and I come close to the center or the pearl with my needle. And make sure you leave enough sewing thread on the inside too for tying your knot. And then I just sew along the in inner part of the flower so no one can see the um, thread. And as you can see, no one can see the thread. And just sew on, sew the flower in place. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut off this tag so it's not sticking out. And then you're just going to fold the towel for the length that you want. And mine I'm going to make a little bit longer. So you can make it whatever length that you want. And then once you have the length folded the way you like, then you're going to turn it over and you're just going to fold back on itself until the for this one though I'm going to have to overlap a little bit because you want it to fit the top of your towel you want the towel topper to fit so you can kind of measure it and that looks about right so I had to overlap mine just a little bit and then once I have it the way I want, turn it back over and look at the design. And I like the way the design looks on the front. So now I'm going to take my towel topper and just put the towel inside the towel topper and line it up. Make sure it's nice and straight. Once you have the towel topper on straight onto the towel, you're going to take your tapestry needle with the same color yarn as the skirt of the dress, and then you're going to come up on one of the corners from behind. So you just take your tapestry needle and go in through the towel, the back of the dress, the towel, and then to the front of the dress, and bring your yarn through and make sure that you leave enough yarn on the back for tying your knot and then you're just going to go in and out through the front Let's see if I can do this on video from the front to the back of the dress through the towel sewing it in place so go ahead and sew the towel in place making sure not to mess up the front part of the design of the dress and only in this corner for now and then come back and then once you're finished sewing that side of the dress you're just going to take and make sure you come back through the back of the dress near your loose yarn end so you can tie your knot and then you want to make sure you leave a long enough loose yarn end on that side where you can bury these two loose yarn ends later. And then you're going to take and turn your work back over carefully. Make sure that you're still lined up, that your dress top is still lined up straight. And then you're going to take and sew the other corner the same way. Okay, so I've sewed the left and the right side part of the dress, and so now I'm going to go right into the center. And here is the front of the dress and how it's looking. So now I'm just going to go through the center from the back. And again, leaving 
the loose yarn in on the back for tying a knot and then you're just going to sew the center the same way. Now once you've finished sewing the left, right, and the center to the towel and this is how it looks on the front and it's nice and secure on the towel holding it in place you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to take any loose yarn end and then you're going to take and make sure you go into the center of the towel or through one of the back ends you don't want to go back go through to the front and then you're just going to take that loose yarn in and bring it to the center of the towel anywhere just bring it through and you can um, leave a little bit of a loose yarn end on the inside because no one is going to see it on the inside go ahead and do that with all your loose yarn ends and then come back and this is how the towel topper looks so far and here is the back after hiding all of the loose yarn ends now I'm going to show you how to make the ring that goes at the top of the kitchen towel and I'm using one of these curtain grommets from Dritz Home they work great and you get a lot of them for a um, decent price the first thing we're going to do is just take the color that you want around the loop and you're just going to take the yarn and tie a knot through the ring and leave enough yarn, excess yarn, for your loose end. Loose yarn end. So we can bury that later. Then you're going to take your crochet hook, and I'm still using my H or 5 millimeter crochet hook, and you're going to go through the loop with your crochet hook and you're going to grab the yarn and bring up a loop and then you're going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through that loop and then you're going to do a chain three one two three and that's going to count as your first double crochet now you're just going to keep doing double crochets into the ring so you're going to yarn over go into the ring bring up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two and you're going to keep doing double crochets until the ring is completely covered the way you like it and you can see how as you're working is covering the ring and it's nice because you can scoot the double crochets over so go ahead and finish doing double crochets into the ring until the ring is completely covered and then come back and I'll show you how to slip stitch and finish off once you have the ring completely covered then you can go ahead and do a slip stitch into that first and just go right into that first stitch on that first double crochet yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch and you can see how it's completely covered and then you're going to go ahead and finish off go ahead and yarn over and pull enough yarn through for sewing onto the towel and then we can go ahead and just bury this loose yarn end just take your tapestry needle and just weave the yarn end through come out anywhere and then go ahead and cut the loose yarn end and then you have a beautiful ring to put at the top of your towel so go ahead and get your tapestry needle and place it onto the long end 
that you left for sewing and I'll show you how to sew this onto your towel. Now you're just going to center the ring at the top of the dress and you're going to take your tapestry needle and come out that first row of the dress and then you're going to go a stitch over and you want to go all the way through to the back of the dress and then you're going to come up through the back part of the loop and then you're going to go since you came out of the loop see if I can bring this a little closer came out of the loop you're going to go next to the next stitch over and grab just the superficial stitch of the loop and then you're going to go down through that first row of the dress and out the back first row of the dress and that just keeps it nice and neat if you find a better way that you like sewing it on you can do that also but go ahead and sew the loop on just at the level of the neck on both sides and then come back and we'll see the finished product now you should have your ring placed at the top of the towel and then here is how it looks on the back all your loose yarn in should be buried and now I'm going to show you how to do the button and the strap that holds the kitchen towel onto the oven or wherever you want to hang it go ahead and get whatever, whatever color yarn that you're using to make the strap I'm making mine yellow and the first thing you're going to do is just take your yarn and fold it over we're going to do our slip knot so you form a loop then take your crochet hook and I'm still using my H or 5 millimeter crochet hook and then you're going to hold the base with your finger and your thumb and then you're going to yarn over and then pull the yarn through that loop for a slip knot and now you're going to make a chain of six one two three four five six now you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go into the second chain from the hook so you're going into the second chain from the hook you're going to bring up a loop and you're going to do a single crochet and you're going to do a single crochet all the way back across so in every stitch you're going to do a single crochet all the way back across to the end I have one stitch left and now we're going to move up to the next row so you're going to chain one turn your work and here at the base of that chain one you see a little upslope we're not going to go into the base of that chain one we're going to go into the next stitch over and we're going to do a single crochet and we're going to do single crochet all the way across back across and then here you have to be careful you have two stitches left so there's a stitch and then you have a stitch there so make sure you get both stitches as you're working I can get in there with my crochet hook so sometimes after you do this stitch here you think you're done but you actually have one more stitch left so you go ahead and grab that stitch and then you can chain one and turn and you're just going to keep doing single crochet all the way across for a row of six single crochet across 
and you're going to do this for 20 rows. So 20 rows of six, a chain of six single crochet across. So in other words, there's six single crochet this way and you're going to do 20 rows up and down. So, so far I've done one, two, three, four. So now I'm on my fifth row. Go ahead and finish doing 20 rows and then come back and then I'll show you how to do the button row. Okay, so I finished 20 rows. Now I'm going to do the buttonhole row, and what you're going to do is just chain one, turn your work, and do one single crochet into the next stitch over. Then you're going to chain two, one, two, and skip the next two stitches, and then work a single crochet into the next to the last stitch and then do a single crochet into the last stitch. And you can see how you formed a little buttonhole. And we're going to reinforce the buttonhole, so go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and then do a single crochet into the next stitch over. And then you're going to do two single crochet into that chain two space. So take your crochet hook and go into that chain two space, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet, go into the chain two space, bring up a loop, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch, and then a single crochet into the last stitch. And then you're going to finish off, yarn over, and just bring enough yarn through to bury into your work. Now just take your tapestry needle and bury your loose yarn ends, and then we're going to sew on our button. So now you're ready to sew on your button, and you just have to decide which side you want for your right side. And I'm going to use this as my right side, so I have the wrong side facing me and I have my yellow button. I like this button because I can fit my tapestry needle right through with the yarn. But you could use a regular sewing needle and thread if you want, but I'm using my same colored yarn with my tapestry needle. I'm going to place my button on the opposite end, of course, from the buttonhole. And then you're just going to take and sew on your button. Find the Hole. Leave enough yarn on the other side to sew your yarn ends, or to bury your loose yarn ends, I should say, with your tapestry needle and tie your knot. And once I make one pass through, I usually just go ahead and tie a knot. And then I take my tapestry needle and just do one more pass. That's what's nice too with the tapestry needle and the yarn is you only need really two passes through the buttonhole because it just makes it really strong and sturdy. And then I just tie another knot and bury the loose yarn ends and you're all done. Now you just take your strap and you put it right through the loop that you created at the top of the kitchen towel and then you just put the button through the buttonhole and you have your kitchen towel is ready to be hung up. So this is where we stopped when we wanted to put this on top of our kitchen towel as a dress towel topper. Um, so now I'm going to continue where we left off. So if you want to continue making the dress pot holder, then you would work up to where we did for the kitchen towel, and then I'll show you how to finish it. So you should have just finished your last shell, which uh, had three double crochets, a chain one and three double crochets, and then you did your double crochet in the armhole, 
And now you did your slip stitch and we're going to chain three. Now in the first chain one space, you're going to repeat the same shell that you did on the previous row. So we're going to do a double crochet into that chain one space. And you're going to do three double crochet in that chain one space. So I did one, two, three. Now you're going to do a chain one. And then you're going to do three more double crochet into that chain one space. And that's the shell, what it's going to look like for this row. And then you're going to do a double crochet into that single double crochet in the previous row. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. So I finished my slip stitch and I'm getting ready to go to the next row. The first thing you're going to do is just do your chain three, one, two, three, and this time we're going to do four double crochet into the chain one space. So you're going to yarn over, go into that chain one space of that first shell and do four double crochet and then you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to do four more double crochet into the same space. And then you have your shell. Now on the previous rows, single double crochet. We're going to do a double crochet into that stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. I finished doing my slip stitch and finished that row. Now we're going to go ahead and change colors. And I'm going to change back to my white yarn. So I'm just going to hook it and bring it through the loop. Make sure you leave enough yarn to um, bury your loose yarn end. Then you're going to yarn over and do a chain one and then turn your work over and cut the previous color that you were using. And you can go ahead and tie a knot. And now we're going to do our next row in white or whatever color you're using to make your beautiful dress. We're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And you can see how you're making a double crochet line under the arm armhole. Now we're going to work into that first shells chain one space and we're going to do four double crochet into that chain one space. Then you're going to go ahead and chain one. And then you're going to do four more double crochet into the same one, chain one space. And you can see how you made the same 
type of shell as you did in the previous row. Then in the next single double crochet space of the previous row, you're just going to do one double crochet in that spot. And you're going to repeat that pattern around back to the beginning. So I finished doing the slip stitch for that row, and now I'm going to do my chain three. One, two, three. And now in the first shell's chain one space, you're going to do five double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go into that chain one space, and you're going to do five double crochet. After you finish doing five double crochet in that chain one space, you're going to do a chain two. One, two. And then you're going to do five more double crochet into the same chain one space. And that's what your shell is going to look like for your last shell row. And then you're going to do a double crochet into the previous rows, single double crochet. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Now for the last row, I'm going to change back to the yellow color. So I'm just going to take my yarn and hook it and bring it through the loop and then do a chain one and then just going to turn your work over and just going to cut that previous white colored yarn or whatever yarn you were using previously and then just tie a knot And then you're going to take and do a single crochet into the same space and then you're going to do a single crochet into every space except for the chain two spaces. In the chain two space, here's my first chain two space. I'm going to do a single crochet in that chain two space and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three and then do another single crochet in the same chain two space. And you can see how it creates a pretty border for your dress. So then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. So one single crochet into every space except for the chain two space which I'm going to show you. I'll do one more with you. So I'm doing single crochet all the way into until I get to the next chain two space. And then once I get to the chain two space, I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a chain three. One, two, three. And then another single crochet in the same space. And you can see the pretty border it creates. So go ahead and finish working all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. When you've reached where you started, you're going to go ahead and do your slip stitch. So you just go into that first stitch you created and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch 
and then yarn over and pull enough yarn through to finish off and bury the yarn into the dress. So let me just show you it's the back, here's the front. And you can see the beautiful pattern that's created at the bottom. So now you're just going to bury all of your loose yarn ends. So go ahead and turn your work inside out. And then you're going to take your tapestry needle. I'm just going to show you one example. And then I'll let you bury the rest of your yarn ends. But this is a white colored yarn, so I'm going to try and bury it near the white colored yarn. So I'm just going to thread my tapestry needle through. And then you can take and since it's on the inside of the work, you can leave a little bit of a tail on the inside. No one's going to see it. So go ahead and bury all of your loose yarn ends on the inside and then come back. Now you should have finished putting all of your loose yarn ends, buried them all. And now we're going to show you how to do the bow. And you can pick either the 100% cotton white for your bow or yellow like I did for the kitchen towel. But I'm going to, for this pot holder, I'm going to be using Karen Simply Soft. Now this is an acrylic yarn and it's called, the color is Dark Sage. But um, some people don't like to use acrylic because they think it's going to melt. But here is a chicken that I made with acrylic yarn and I put lots of hot items on it and it still looks beautiful. So it's a preference. Um, for me, I've not had any problems with acrylic, and I love the colors. So I'm just going to show you how to make the bow with this acrylic yarn, but you can use whatever color that you like for your dress. The first thing you're going to do is the slip knot. So you're just going to fold your yarn over, and then just put your hook through, and then hold it at the base with your middle finger and thumb. And I'm still using my H crochet hook or 5mm crochet hook. Now I'm going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and just bring the yarn through the loop for a single crochet, I mean for a slip knot. And then once you've made your slip knot, now you're going to make a chain of 80. I'm just going to show you a few of them. So you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for chain 1, 2, 3, 4. So go ahead and finish making a chain of 80 and then come back and I'll show you how to put it on the dress. After you finish your chain of 80, you can go ahead and finish off. So you just go ahead and yarn over and bring the yarn through and bring enough yarn to sew the bow onto your dress. And then you just take and cinch, cinch down on the knot and you do the same thing on the other side. And then just take the short side for now. And I like to put my bow on the side. So I'm going to go in right where I want my bow to be. And then I'm just going to weave in and out with my chain. And I'm going to skip three double crochet for the front of the dress and then just one from the inside. I'm going to skip one double crochet just because I want the bow to show. So I want it to show more on the dress. So I'm going to skip three double crochet and just go in. And I'm just going along in between the two different colors, the white and the yellow. And then I'm going to come up right before the arm. And I'm just going to bring the green across the armpit of the dress and then just go back down and do the same thing all the way around back to where you started and then come back and I'll show you the bow. So now I'm just making sure that the two chains are even for tying my bow and you can see how it looks along the front and around the back. So now you can tie your bow. Now once you have your bow tied 
the way you like it. We're going to sew it down. So I'm going to sew the short end first. And just take your tapestry needle and you're going to go right into that first chain that you created on the bow. And make sure you only go through the front of the dress. You don't want to sew that all the way out to the back. And then you're just going to take and sew, go in and out along the chain with your tapestry needle and just sew. Actually, it's too, if it's too short, go ahead and take your longer side and just leave that one loose yarn end on the inside for tying a knot when we're done. And then you can just kind of shape your bow the way you want it to look on the dress. And you can kind of twist the um, ends of the bow so that it has a slight curve to it. And then just sew the bow in place and then tie your knot on the inside. And then come back. And you're all done. It looks beautiful. Now I'm going to show you how to make this different styled top for the dress. And you can see the difference compared to this other style. You have a little bit of the upslope of the arms, but the skirt of the dress is made exactly the same. And then here, let me see if I can get them together. You can see the difference. And then I just switched the colors just to show the difference in color. So now I'm going to show you just how to do the top portion of this one if you like that style better. This time I'm going to start with the yellow color for the top of the dress and we're going to start with the slip knot so you just take your yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop and I'm still using my H or 5 millimeter crochet hook just hold it at the base with your middle finger and thumb yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot then you're going to make a chain of 10 and we're going to form our ring so just take your crochet hook and go into that first stitch and then yarn over and take the yarn and bring it through both loops of the hook for a slip stitch then you're going to chain three and we're going to make 30 double crochet into the ring. So I'm going to show you a couple of them. Just yarn over, go into the ring, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So I have two and we want to do a total of 30. So I'm going to do just two more with you. It's three. and four. So go ahead and do a total of 30 double crochet into the ring and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. After completing 30 double crochet into the ring we're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first double crochet. So just take your crochet hook and go into that top stitch and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Now you're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and that's going to count as your first double crochet for the next row but or round. But first go ahead and just move the double crochet around so that it's even around the circle and how you like it. And then once you have it the way you like it, we're going to go ahead and start the next row. 
Okay, so now I did the first double crochet and the next stitch we're going to do two double crochets. So just yarn over and go into the next stitch. And you're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And two double crochet in the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. Once you've reached the beginning, go ahead and do a slip stitch into that top stitch of that first double crochet we did. And now for this next round, we're going to do one treble crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do the treble crochet. Go ahead and chain three, one, actually chain four, two, three, four. And that's going to count as our first treble crochet. So I'm going to do a couple treble crochets with you. Go ahead and yarn over twice, one, two, and then you're going to go into the next stitch over. Bring up a loop. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and go through two. And then go ahead and yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch over. Bring up a loop. Four loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two. So that's how you do your treble. Go ahead and do your treble crochet, one treble crochet in every stitch all the way around, and then come back. If you finished your treble crochet all the way around, you can go ahead and do your slip stitch. And we're going to do our last round. And this is going to be a round of double crochets. So you're going to go ahead and do a chain of three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do one double crochet and then two double crochet. So this first one counts as the one double crochet. So in the second stitch you can do two double crochet in the same stitch. So now in the next stitch will be one double crochet. And then in the second stitch it's two double crochet. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, so now I have one stitch left. So I'm going to do one double crochet into that stitch. And then I'm going to do one more double crochet right in the stitch where I did my chain three. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that same stitch as my first chain three. Bring up a loop and do another double crochet. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch to the top stitch of that first double crochet to join. And then I'm going to finish off. So just yarn over and just bring enough yarn to bury the loose yarn in. Now you're going to go ahead and get your yarn markers and for me I'm just using some of my scraps of yarn and you want to mark the armholes so how you're going to do that is you just take the back where you tied off finished off your loose yarn and that's going to be the back of the dress so you're going to count over 11 stitches and on after the 11th stitch you're going to place your marker and then that counts as one where the marker is, one stitch, and then you count over 12 stitches, and then on the 12th stitch you're going to place the other marker. So you should have 12 stitches total for each of the armholes, and then 22 stitches in the back and 22 stitches in the front. Now you're going to want to place the front side of your dress up and then the wrong side down. So whatever side you want showing on your dress, go ahead and face that up now, and then you're going to take the armhole, one of the stitches, you're going to go right into that stitch where you marked. You can remove that yarn marker. And then we're going to take and join 
the yarn. So I'm using the white yarn for the arm hole. So I'm going to go ahead and take and loop and bring up a loop with the white yarn, making sure that I have enough yarn, excess yarn for the loose yarn end. Then I'm going to yarn over and do a chain one. And then you could turn your work over and just tie a knot. And now we're going to do a shell. So in the same stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. Then you're going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a half double crochet. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch. So you yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Now you're going to do a treble crochet. So you yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So we're going to do one more treble crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do a double crochet. And then you're going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch over. Make sure you get the next stitch over because you have just enough stitch stitches to do your six shells. So you have one shell complete. And now we're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch over. And then you're going to repeat the process. So you're going to make six shells all the way across to your next yarn marker and then come back. Okay, so you should have finished six shells for that armhole and I just finished my last shell in the stitch where I had my stitch marker and now you're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So you go into that next stitch and yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch and then go ahead and finish off and bring enough yarn through to bury the loose yarn in into your work. And now you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side to complete the other armhole and then come back. Now you can take the right side and fold it so that the wrong side is facing each other and you can see how you have the armholes on the side and now I'm just going to show you how to join the front and the back of the dress so you're going to take and go right at the corner shell and you're going to go right into the stitch between the stitch that you finish the shell and the next shell on the front of the dress. So go into that stitch with your crochet hook, into that space I should say, and then go ahead and bring up a loop. You can see where I'm coming up with the loop. And then do a chain one. And then turn your work over and tie a knot. And then you're going to take and do a chain three. 
One, two, three. And you can see how you have, it's going to be a double crochet. We're going to join the armhole. So now you're going to take and fold the two sides together. Get my crochet hook. So fold the two sides together so that your armhole is closed. And we're going to take and do a double crochet joining the front and the back. So now you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into that space where you did your last shell and then the first stitch for the back of the dress. So you can see this space that I'm in with my crochet hook. Then you're going to bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then you joined your armhole with two double crochet to form a V. Now you're going to start working along the back of the dress going to yarn over, you're going to skip two stitches, skip two stitches and work in the space between the second and third double crochet, bring up a loop, you're going to do two double crochet in this space. Now you're going to skip two more stitches. This time you're going to do one double crochet into this space. Then you're going to skip two more stitches and do two double crochet into the space. So here I have two, four, six. I'm going to do one more. So skip two more for a total of eight. You're going to do one double crochet in that space. So here you can see how I skipped two, four, six, eight. Now I'm going to skip three stitches. So I'm going to skip three stitches. And I'm going to do two double crochet into that space. Yep. <clears throat> so you can see how I skipped three stitches and then worked two double crochet into that space. Now I'm going to skip three more stitches and do one double crochet into that space. So I skipped three stitches and did one double crochet. Now I'm going to skip two stitches and do two double crochet. And now I'm going to skip two more stitches and do one double crochet. Skip two stitches and do two double crochet. And now for my last double crochet, I'm going to go into the space between the shell and the first stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that space, bring up a loop, and do my double crochet. And this is how it looks across the back of the dress now. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold the armhole together because I'm going to join the front and the back of the dress. I'm going to join it with a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into that space between the last shell and the first stitch on the front row. So do a double crochet. I'm 
And then you can see how I formed a V with the double crochet and joined the armhole. And now I'm going to be working across the front of the dress doing the exact same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to skip two stitches and do work two double crochet into that space. Then I'm going to skip two more stitches and work one double crochet. Skip two stitches, work two double crochet. And I'm just going to double check. I have two, four, six, so I need one more. So I'm going to skip two stitches and do one double crochet. So that's two, four, six, eight. Now I'm going to skip three stitches and do two double crochet. And now I'm going to skip three stitches and do one double crochet. Now I'm going to skip two stitches and do two double crochet. Skip two stitches, do one double crochet. Skip two stitches and work two double crochet. Now the last, we've already done the double crochet joining the arm hole. So you're going to go ahead and slip stitch now to the top stitch of that first double crochet. And you've joined. And now you can start working in rounds the same way that you did for the rest of, of the styles.